Hi, grandkids. Today I'm going to read you a silly school story. The title is, The Day the Teacher Went Bananas. Have you ever heard that expression before? Somebody going bananas or somebody went bananas? That means that they kind of went a little crazy. They got a little wild. Why do you think a teacher might go bananas? Let's read and find out. The Day the Teacher Went Bananas by James Howe, illustrated by Lillian Hoban. And I want to show you something special on this title page. This book belongs to Monica. That's your mom or your aunt. And it's signed by the author, James Howe. I just wanted to share that with you. Let's read. One day, a new teacher arrived at our school. We didn't know what to call him because he wouldn't tell us his name. He just grunted a lot. When it was time for arithmetic, he showed us how to count on our toes. And we learned a new way to write. We went outside for science class. Then we went back inside for lunch. The teacher ate 16 bananas. Tomorrow, let's bring bananas for lunch, we all said, wanting to be just like our new teacher. Then we had art class. Our teacher taught us how to work with clay and paper and paint. Then we studied music. Suddenly, Mr. Hornsby, the school principal, came into the room with another man. There has been a terrible mix-up, Mr. Hornsby said. This isn't your new teacher. This is a gorilla. The man with Mr. Hornsby said, I am your new teacher. My name is Mr. Quackerbottom. I was sent to the zoo by mistake. Sadly, we all waved goodbye to the gorilla. Now, Mr. Quackerbottom said, what have you learned today? We showed him. Why, this is awful, Mr. Quackerbottom cried. 
You all belong in the zoo. And the next day, that's exactly where we went. To have lunch with our favorite teacher. Why did the teacher go bananas? Because he was a gorilla. How did the kids end up with a gorilla as a teacher? And how is that problem fixed? Love you guys. Miss you too. Bye-bye.